What's going on everybody? Jonathan Rahina here. Welcome back to the Passion Built YouTube channel. Today we are going to be installing a set of Mazda Speed Miata seats in my 1997 Mazda Miata. Not this one, the one out here. Now if you guys remember this car right here, this is the one that we picked up last year which actually took the transmission out in my Chevy Trailblazer. But uh, the last time you guys saw this in an episode of Roads to Rehab, the little series that we were doing, uh, we got a brand used engine installed in this car and since then she has been running really, really good. So. Uh, I've been enjoying the car for what it is, and uh, the other day while scrolling through Marketplace, I came across these beauties right here. Now, as many of you guys know, the Mazda Miata parts market right now is just absolutely outrageous. A set of mint condition Mazda Speed seats like this would go for around a thousand plus dollars. I only paid eighty dollars for these seats. Now, yes, they are in used condition. They are pretty dirty. Um, the seller was pretty cooperative. He had sent me some more photos and uh, video of the seats. Now, I was kind of disappointed because when I got there, I found this little small burn mark here, little small burn mark here. Now, I was pretty bummed about that. And the seller actually dropped the price $20 because he was asking $100 for these originally. And funny thing is, the seller actually had these listed as Del Sol seats because he got them from somebody with a Del Sol and just automatically assumed they were for a Del Sol. Wrong. So today, we lucked out. We got this pair of Mazda Speed Miata seats. I haven't had any luck finding a driver's side replacement seat for that car out there. So uh, this will be a good temporary set until I can get a replacement driver's seat that matches the passenger seat in uh, good condition. So we got a lot of work to do. We got to get these seats cleaned up and then we will go ahead and install them in the car. So let's get today's video started. Dude, check these seats out. They look absolutely amazing. The passenger seat especially. Look at the red section of it. It's beautiful, flawless. Oh my God. The driver's seat, I can't tell if it's just because it's a little damp and that's why it's a little darker than the passenger seat. Maybe it's the lighting in here. I don't know, but either way, these seats look a thousand times better than they did when I first brought them in here. Definitely got to give a shout out to this stuff right here. Uh, OxyClean Total Interior. I bought this from Walmart for like five or six bucks and uh, that was five or six bucks well spent because look at these things. They are absolutely, oh my God, they look so good. I think what I'm gonna do is, to be a little extra, is just go over the red sections one more time on both seats, give the backs of the seats a wipe down, and then they should be good to install. So let's do one more pass on these things. guys these seats would you just look at them the second pass was so worth it they look absolutely amazing the driver's seat looks a little darker than the passenger seat i don't know if it's the lighting in here maybe it's just got a little bit more wear or maybe if it's just a little bit damper and it'll look better when it dries up but either way these seats look absolutely amazing i am so stoked to get these things installed in the miata anyway we're gonna go outside right now pull the old seats out of the miata get these ones in and see how they look fully installed so let's get to it Now, before I take this driver's seat out, let me show you how bad this seat really was. Because I wasn't kidding when I said this thing was absolutely hideous. It's just the worst <laughs> M edition seat in existence. The bottom of it, the little metal pan on it, is completely rusted out and it is just destroyed. Look at this thing. Ugh nasty ass seat i'm so happy this thing is coming out of the car so let's get this thing out of here Just want you guys to take a look at how nasty this seat that I was using was absolutely destroyed. 
And then the worst part about it, <laughs> look at all, all the rust that just fell off of it. This right here is supposed to be a metal pan. Oh, that's gross. And uh, it's literally just uh, foam. There's no metal pan here. As you can see, it's all rusted away. And as you can see, when I push on the foam, <laughs> just rust chunks fall out of this thing. Absolutely disgusting. So happy this thing is coming out of the car right now. Ugh. We're not even gonna put this thing back in my shop. We're just gonna set it off to the side because she's gonna go in the dumpster very shortly. I'm just gonna take off a couple parts from it that are still of good use, like the seat rails and the headrest. And other than that, that thing's going in the trash. Alrighty, so right now, carpet on the passenger side, not too bad, could use a vacuum, but the carpet on the driver's side, because of all that rust from the M Edition seat, it's a little gross in here. So before we put those nice seats in here, we're gonna get all this vacuumed up. And just like that, we got two clean floorboards and the seats are out here ready to go. So we're gonna start off throwing the passenger seat in, then we'll go ahead and get the driver's seat installed and we'll be good to go. And just like that, the seats are in and they look absolutely amazing. Let me open up this door for you guys so you guys can see the whole thing. Look at these. They look so good in here. Definitely pop with the black car and the red seats. I am, ooh, let's look. Ooh, they look so good. Oh my goodness. This is the best $80 I will probably ever spend on this car right here. But uh, in case you guys were wondering, um, so these are NB seats out of a Mazda Speed Miata. Um, I used NB seat rails with them. And since this is a 94 through 97 model, the seatbelt buckles work with the seatbelt. The seatbelts work with the seatbelt buckles. But if it was a 90 through 93 Miata, you would have to swap over your actual uh, buckles Am I saying that right? The things that the buckles click into, you would have to swap that over because the 90 through 93 seatbelts do not actually click into NB seatbelt buckles, but 94 through 97 does. But anyway, yep, I am thrilled. These look so amazing. It's getting a little dark outside right now, so I'm gonna head home for the day, but this right here, $80 well spent. These look absolutely amazing. They cleaned up so well. The red did not does not look faded or anything at all. I am thrilled right now, guys. But anyway, guys, I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up for me. Also, if you have a Miata and you're not subscribed already, what are you waiting for? Smash the subscribe button. We got this 1997 Mazda Miata that's naturally aspirated, and then we got my 1990 Mazda Miata that's turbocharged, and we're gonna be having a lot more Miata content brought to the channel this year. So, if you guys are looking forward to that, make sure you hit that subscribe button for me. But anyway, guys, until the next time, I'll see you then. Peace.